Miri's favorite. Hey, so I finished painting the top wall. So basically the wall above the trim. And it looks great. I really like how purple it is, but it's also like light. So I basically still have to do the bottom part. I'm excited for it. The puppy one was a little harder to put on than the monkey one. Um, this one is called Tickle's Monkey. And this one is Lavi Puppy. And they're both kind of sparkly. And they both have the perfume, which is really cool. And I'll go ahead and show you. So you basically open it up. And there's a little plastic covered and I'm gonna go ahead and take the cover off oh, in there and it's almost like a lip gloss and it's very soft and you can kind of see it there on my thumb it's like and I'm gonna smell it oh Oh my god, it smells so good. It kind of reminds me of like a perfume my grandma had, but it's like not as like, I don't know. Actually, it's kind of like baby powder, I think. Um, I'm going to try the other one, the monkey one. So it looks like only the puppy is um, a perfume one. You can see her right there, the Lavi puppy. And then the monkey boy is part of the Enchanted Gems collection. So um, there is no perfume in that one, just in the puppy. And like I said before, it smells like baby powder. It's really good. Okay, and there's also a little surprise in here. So I'm going to go ahead and open that. <gasps> another present or something okay so ah, it's so cute so it's like yellow pink um and like light pinks which are like my favorite colors I'm so excited and um let's see the sloth on here here he is berry slot so he's also part of the enchanted gems collection so now there's a sloth a lavy puppy with the perfume and the silly monkey. I'm obsessed. So I have the table set up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get her from the hutch and we'll see how she does. Hey 
bub. So this is Leche. He is not Leche's teddy. She must be hiding in there. And this is Fat Pepper. There's Leche's teddy. Come on, girl. So as you can see, her fur is different than his is. His is like silkier and you can actually just pull his fur right out and use it for yarn. Um, but with hers, you have to actually trim it off of her and brush her to get it off because it doesn't just come out like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get her on the table and we'll get her shearing. So that was a little scary, but I got her out. Um, I have not handled her yet since I got her. So like I said, I am a little bit nervous, but I'm just going to go with it because if I let her get any more furry, um, it will be harder to groom her later. So. so I may or may not have to take a break, maybe, um, just because so i'm basically almost done but she has a lot of hay like under her chin because um she eats a lot of hay so basically if you can see it got like caught and it created mats like on both sides of her poor little chin chin and she was not very happy with me when i was trying to get them off um i don't blame her and they're probably just kind of tight on her so I think I'm going to try to go ahead and finish this part and the other side and then go back to her chin and see if she'll let me finish it. She's been so good so far though. And here's how much fur I've gotten off. Okay, um, I have fur all over myself right now, everywhere. Um, but she did so good. She actually sat still for the whole thing. Um, this is all the fur that I got off of her. It is so much. It's insane. You guys, I can actually see her face now. And she's so cute. So she's a Harley doe, which means that she kind of has like markings on her face, if you can notice. That light. And she looks like a little lamb. She did so great. I'm about to trim her nails and then I'm going to put her back in the hutch with Leche and just let her snuggle and get settled in. Thanks for being such a good girl. Like, I'm obsessed. So I'm putting her back in her hutch now. She looks really cute and she had her nails trimmed and her feet trimmed too. 